A lot of times, and tell me if you've experienced this, okay? We are talking to people who use narcissistic tactics or who have toxic relationship styles, okay? And they're gaslighting us or they're projecting or, or it just doesn't make sense what they're saying to you based on the reality as you know it. And this goes back and forth on and on. And so everything becomes a conflict. Everything becomes an argument. There's always this gaslighting. There's always the walking on eggshells, right? So you're to that point. And do you ever feel the need to make that narcissistic person see what they're doing? Did you ever, or do you now feel the urge or feel this like strong desire to have that person get it, to have them see what they're doing and stop, to have them be accountable, to force the accountability out, right? Have you ever had that? The thing is, you guys, narcissistic people don't care. If they are truly narcissistic, they truly don't care. They are not going to take accountability. And people who are not narcissistic say they don't have NPD, but they display strong traits of narcissistic manipulation and stuff when they're in conflict or when they're under pressure or when they're, you know, they will have a very difficult time getting outside of that protective bubble, that ego that is preserving their feeling okay about themselves in order to take accountability. That's a monumental effort most people who feel that way and who operate that way will not take. So how do you know with all of that when you've actually kind of hurt the narcissistic ego of that person? My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand and heal from toxic relationships and narcissistic people. If all of that made sense, let me know in the comments because this is one of those like really great topics to have a back and forth with. Here are some examples of how you'll know. When the narcissistic person starts gaslighting you, you've touched a button, you've touched something that is a reality for them. They know they're defending something. They may not know they're gaslighting. Like I don't think every narcissistic person is like, I'm going to gaslight now, right? No, I think it's a defense mechanism for a lot of people when they're gaslighting and, but they do have the feeling of needing to defend themselves. What are they defending against? Usually it's some small offense, right? Or some small issue that if they would just handle in the moment, everything could move on well, because you know, in your life, you handle those little moments all the time, right? So like five signs that you have caused a bit of a narcissistic injury in a toxic person or to put it more accurately, that you've called them on something that they've done that's manipulative and they know it. They will start making excuses and gaslighting, backpedaling, projecting, and all of that. When that happens, it's generally because they know they're hiding something. They know they're protecting something, all right? They're defending something that they don't wanna look at. Number two, they get cold, they get distant. They start using the silent treatment. All right, they shut down entirely and clam up and go internal or sternly stare at you. And they're brewing inside, causing a feeling of lack, giving you the sense that you're missing something, forcing the situation to where you get reactive. When they do that, they can flip the table and say, see how you are? You see, they're taking this hurt or this recognition, the narcissistic injury, they are using a punishment-based system to turn the tables, make it about you so they can feel okay about themselves and protect the mask they're wearing. They start blame shifting onto you. There's another one. They will twist the tail. They will make it so that you're the one at fault. They will shift the blame in ways that are absurd and again, start gaslighting to do so. They will guilt trip you. Number four here, guilt tripping. Guilt tripping you, making you feel guilty, accuse you of all things like being unsupportive, not being there for them, not listening to them, not caring about their feelings, all right? And they're doing this, You sometimes they'll do this like as a third or fourth tier, but that is a sign that it, 
it's not that you're not listening to their feelings or that you don't want to hear their feelings or, you know, you may care what they feel and think and, and try really hard to listen to it. They use it at times when what they should be doing is taking accountability. You're asking for accountability that creates a narcissistic injury and they go into this guilt tripping response. And then the fifth way is they will just out and out discard you. They will either devalue you so badly that you are standing there staring at the person in your life thinking, I don't know who they are. They have cut me off. You know that feeling? They've cut me off. They have ended things. They have ended the closeness of this relationship right there. And you see it and you feel it. And the more empathic you are, the more you feel it. They are pouting, you guys. They are saying, you saw me. I can't take it. This is creating a problem for me. And they go into narcissistic injury and they will either discard or take the relationship all the way down to the lowest level of devaluing. Have you seen this happen? And have you seen it happen in relationship to knowing that that narcissistic person knows that they should be accountable for something? And it's creating a narcissistic injury to have to look at it. If so, you guys, let me know in the comments. And as always, check out the information in the main description of every video if you need coaching, group coaching, or peer support. And I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.